are LinkedIn messages, LinkedIn video messages, the be all and end all that everyone seems to be raving about at the moment, or should they be used in specific use cases? I'll give you my thoughts on this in a second. Yeah, they are certainly not the be all and end all, as a lot of people are suggesting. Uh, they're not the one form of messaging to rule them all. Um, there are as many people who hate getting video messages as there are who like getting them. They are a good, credible, valuable source of messaging, but they are no more valuable than audio messages or written messages. So yes, as we will cover in this episode, they should be used, they work, but by no means put all your eggs in one basket. Make sure you're using it alongside, you know, uh, audio written, and then obviously things like cold calling, email, and all the other uh, methods of communication that exist. Sure. And, and I don't know your experience with getting video messages over LinkedIn and audio messages as well. We'll, we'll keep them separate, but I feel like they're in the same kind of category here in that when I get one, I feel guilty if I don't reply. Now, this may not last very long if more and more people use them and they become more ubiquitous and every message you get is video or audio. But especially that very first message, if someone sends me a somewhat spammy uh, text message, I'll just ignore it. Or if it's super spammy, I'll just block them and to get them out of my inbox. But a video message, I feel guilty. I feel like someone's gone the extra mile. I feel like, oh, I've, just, I've, I've got to watch it now. They're going to know if I've not watched it. I feel like there is an element of uh, social pressure to consume that content, which is probably why maybe they work quite well. Yeah, I think the key probably to identify at the start is good video messages sure. will drive that type of feeling personalized ones there are still a lot of salespeople that are sending generic non-personalized video messages that don't make me feel any more inclined to reply uh compared to any other form so yes good personalized ones where they've made an effort absolutely it does you know encourage you to want to reply and that is again while they're working but that personalization can be done in in other means as well and, and that's kind of the core you know, to success in, in any form of messaging on LinkedIn. Sure. And I, I like a video message and I've sent, a, I've not sent tons of them, I've sent a few myself um, when I know the person. So I'm not using this to to break ground. I want people to, I go with the slowly, slowly approach of a lot of the sales that we do because we're doing larger enterprise sales, uh, whether it's sponsorships or, or training. I'm not necessarily selling to individuals on LinkedIn. So just to caveat what I'm saying here, I like to use a video message to reignite a conversation. So if something's gone a bit cold, I'll send a video message to be like, hey, was just thinking about you or there's this piece of content that I came across or whatever it is. Similar to what I do in an email, but over a video, I feel like it just has that, it just pierces through that little bit more to reignite a sales conversation. And I also like them as just one-offs. Almost, uh, are, you, are you familiar with, I've got it in the, in the notes here, but this this concept of the, uh, um, the slot machine principle? Uh, no, I'm not aware of that. Okay, so it's uh, it's a uh, it's well studied uh, psychological principle, um, and Vegas and every pub in the UK with a, a slot machine in it is based upon this idea of you get little treats, little treats, then you get nothing, 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 and then you get one big win. And if uh, for a slot machine, for example, if you get one big win once a trip to Vegas or once every few weeks at the pub, that then spikes your dopamine, serotonin, and then you want to go back to it, even though that one big win, you know, for most people might be fifty quid. And you put 200 quid in there over the course of those few weeks. That one big win is uh, important into keeping that addiction to whatever that you're doing going. And I feel like we can use video as a one big win uh, within our, our cadence of communication. So if it's text, text, phone call, whatever it is, just a nice video message is so it can come so out of the blue. And I like to do this um, with our, our good customers as well. Just every now and then again, send them a video message saying, I was just thinking about you or I was remembering this or doing that. No need for a reply. I like to use it as a kind of a, the, the slot machine jackpot principle. And um, so that's my thoughts on it, Daniel. When do you think we should be using uh, video messages? Is this something that comes throughout the sales cycles? It once, is it twice? How, how would you position this as a, as a messaging kind of a vehicle? I really like that example. And uh, you, you're right, receiving a good video message does make you feel good. And the beauty of it is you send a, a written message, they read your words, you send an audio, they get to hear your voice, you send a video and they get to see you and you're talking to them. It's as if you're there with them. And certainly in our current you know, climate is the best uh, that we have to to sort of, you know, face to face replacement. Um, video messages can and should be used at all parts of the sales process. So you can use video messages well for prospecting. So as a first 
message. You can successfully send good video messages that create sales opportunities. You can send them throughout the entire sales process from qualification to presenting to giving value relationship building. You can utilize video messages to follow up on deals to help you know, increase uh, velocity and, and closing. And then you can use videos for post-sale uh, account management and continued relationship building. As you said, they are a great form of, of communicating a message. So it could be, hi, Will, um, just wanted to send you a quick video. Loved your post that you shared last week. Um, you know, hope everything's going well. And then you could go on to whatever was relevant to the stage of the sales process that you're in. But you can use it at any given point. <laughs>